Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch SMV 40C40 GB integrated dishwasher or the sister model, the SMV 40C30 GB dishwasher. But for the purpose of this video I'll be showing you the 40 version. And really what I want to do is to show you around the dishwasher some of the features and benefits that it offers and between the two models why they're one of the best selling dishwashers in the UK market at the moment. So let's have a look. Now the first thing to point out is that this is a fully integrated dishwasher so the door covers the whole of the dishwasher it's not a semi integrated one where you have the control panel at the top if it is that that you're after then you need to look for an alternative model but as we open the door the first thing that you'll notice is that the control panel inside is a, a very simple layout I'll just show you it from left to right so first of all you've got the on and off button and as we move along you've got features like time delay so this is a, a three six or nine hour time delay until when it starts the program that can be very useful if you've got things like economy 7 at home or if you just want it to be delayed for uh, say when you're out uh, the next option I'll, I'll come back to that one in a moment but the next options are you've got you've actually got three different main programs so the first one is the 65 degree program that's the I suppose the, the main four beans wash and with that that's mainly if you're washing things like uh, heavily soiled items and things like that. after you've done a Sunday roast then that's really the program to use if the plates and dishes and everything you're washing aren't too dirty and if it's a normal wash as I'd say then I'd normally recommend the 50 degree program and when it says eco, it, the main advantage is it costs less to run, especially compared to the 65 degree, because it's not having to heat the water up so high. And then the next option is the 45 degree. And that's mainly, a, like as it says, it's a, a lighter temperature, it's a much quicker wash. Uh, that's mainly used for, I'd really say things like freshening things up. It's not a program I tend to use a huge amount. And then you've got the pre-rinse as well. That's just a, another option. If the everything in there is fairly dirty, then you can pre-rinse the plates and glasses and dishes and everything in there before you start the program. And um, this is just the program selector. So you just either use it, press that button to move left or that one to move right. And along here, you've just got some of the indicators. So this is like a progress indicator. So this just shows you when it's washing and that's when it's drying. And then to the right here, these just basically show you if you need either salt or rinse aid in here or if there's a problem with the water supply. And then the next button is the start button. And what you can do is if you press and hold that for three seconds, then it just resets the program. So I did say I'd come back to this program because what you can find, some of these programs can be quite a long time but what you can do is if you are in a hurry then you can press this button this is the vario speed button and what it would do is it's still at these temperatures so if you were to use this one here it still washes at 50 degrees but the main advantage is it's a much quicker program so in the middle here this is where you put the tablets or the little gel pouches depends which one you use and when you put it in all you do is just press that and then part way through the program that will open on its own and the beauty of these and to be fair it's on really all of the Siemens and Bosch dishwashers that what will happen as the tablet drops out it actually drops into the top here and it's a really good design uh, which not many other manufacturers have done but the main advantage is when it drops into there the tablet will sit there until it's dissolved on quite a few other manufacturers uh, the tablet will actually drop into the bottom part of the dishwasher and the main downside is if it drops into a cup or uh, say a plate or dish for example then what will happen is it won't dissolve properly and it can have quite an effect on the washes and on the right hand side here you have got the rinse aid so that's just where you fill that so that's very easy and I'll show you the bottom basket first and as you open it what you'll notice is you've got the cutlery basket, it comes with a new one of those 
Um, it's just a, a fairly simple device and that has to sit in that position. What you will also notice that some of these racks are actually colour coded. So you've got some of the lighter grey colour and these are darker grey. Um, basically what this means, it means that these can actually fold down. And it's a really good and simple design. And the main advantage of this is if you have got say, large saucepans, then what you can do, rather than trying to locate them over the top of these racks, then what it will do is you can actually provide a nice flat surface and it just makes life so much easier for loading the dishwasher. So as I take out the top rack, first thing you'll notice that all of these are light grey, so these are all static, you can't fold any of these down. On the right hand side here, you have got uh, these little flaps, so what you can do is if you've got things like little espresso cups or bread knife is always a classic one that's good to put along here. But if you didn't want to use them, then they can come off. The other thing you'll notice that you have actually got two sets of wheels down the side. And what you can do is you can actually adjust the height of the top basket. And I'll just show you how to do that. So you just have to locate the wheels. And then once you've done that, then you just push it in and it goes back in. So you've actually got two positions for the top rack. The main comment on this is to try and find out the position that you want it in before you start to load it. Because what you will find is that if you have got it fully loaded and then you try and do that, where you try and adjust the top basket, it can become really heavy. So try and find out which position you want it in uh, before you set the dishwasher going. As far as the maintenance on the dishwasher, there's not a huge amount to do, but I'll just show you the filter at the middle here. So if you want to clean it, or when you want to clean it, because it's recommended to do it, you've got the basically filter here. Um, this is really easy, you can just take this, take this part off and just give it a rinse under warm water. Uh, just make sure there's no food residue, and the same at the bottom here. Uh, what you can find is this can actually generate one or two fault codes by having residue or something stuck at the bottom here. And then to put it back in, that just drops in and just twist it so that the two arrows meet. Uh, you've got the salt, that's the dishwasher salt. Just make sure you don't use normal table salt. So that's just where you fill it there. And this is the spray arm. So that's, again, easy to clean. That just pulls off. Now one thing I haven't covered is about the installation of the dishwasher and on the whole the Bosch integrated dishwashers are one of the easier ones to install compared to some of the others on the market. Uh, it is quite an art when it comes to installing an integrated dishwasher to get it done properly to make sure that the door is level and lined up with all of the other appliances in the kitchen. So if you're not confident doing it yourself then I'd recommend getting a professional in to make a, a good job of it. So just a couple more things to point out. The first one that this is the mains lead for the dishwasher. And I know it might sound strange showing you the mains lead, but if you're actually installing it yourself, then that's the lead. And what, what you'll find is because you plug it in separately, then if you need to go through a like a small hole to get the mains lead through a small hole in the cupboard, then that can be a really, I know for us, because we do install quite a few of these, then that's been a lifesaver sometimes. It just saves having to drill out a much bigger hole in the side of the cabinet. And the next thing to show you is the energy label. I normally like to show you how energy efficient these C products are. So on this one, it's an A plus energy rating, uh, as it shows the kilowatt hours per annum. And at 50 decibels, considering the price points of this dishwasher, because it, this, although the, the spec on it is actually very good, what you'll find is that 50 decibels is actually pretty good for this sort of price range. And it also shows that it's a, a 12 place setting. So with fully integrated dishwashers, 12 places is really the, the starting point. Some of the more expensive models in the range go up to 13 or 14. They're really for us with bigger families. And the next thing is the uh, 3,300 litres per annum of, uh, of water. So on the whole, and really as I said earlier, for, for this sort of price point, then this, I'd say the spec on this is actually very good. But I hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch SMV40C40GB integrated dishwasher. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video. 
leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video, or even if you've got one of these models, or the sister model, the SME 40C30, if you've got one, then leave a comment and let me know what you think to it. Thanks for watching.